What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shut Up and React. Thank you for clicking on this goddamn video. All right, so y'all see me? I got them snowball in my hand. I was, I had a better mic before, but you know, the kid crushed it. You know, destroyed it. The condenser was all on the floor. And all you know, it, this is what happens when you have children. You know, you can't have anything nice. You know, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna break out the Yeti. I'm gonna break out the Yeti soon, but. I was wondering, like everybody else, where the fuck Ryan Upchurch been, huh? Where has Ryan Upchurch been? He hasn't dropped any videos. He has like, where, 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 where's he been? I think he's about to tell us. Somebody told me, take a look at this video. So, diaper neck. Hit the like button. We're on the road to 10K, all right? With the help of all y'all out there family i call y'all family we are family we are family uh 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 y'all the family all right we almost at 10k i said by fourth of july we might hit that son of a bitch sooner you never know so share 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 let's go make sure my levels is up because you know You guys know me way too well. So, I know a lot of y'all have been wondering what is going on. Why have I been so inactive on the internet? Why have I not been putting out music videos? Why am I canceling shows? What is the deal? I mean, you guys know me really Didn't know he canceled shows. Well, so when I skim through the DMs and I see people ask me, Hey Church, what's wrong? Uh, what's going on with you? Why haven't you been doing this? Uh, you're acting irregular. Uh, you look super beautiful fucking house, by the way, church. Beautiful house. You're tired. You look super stressed. <sighs> I'm about to tell you why. For the past few months, I have been getting drug in and out and in and out of court for the dumbest fucking reason in the world. All because I don't want to date somebody. I hope this ain't about this Nicole Arbor chick. Like, did, did she really go to that? Did, did she go? Th it's always the cr it's always the pretty ones, yo. That's 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 bad shit crazy. Just bad shit crazy. Yeah, you heard right. Just because I don't want to date them for the past I don't know month or so, maybe even more than a month. I don't lost fucking track. I've had an order of protection against me. The acoustics in that house. For absolutely no fucking reason. Just because someone wants to be a fucking liar and somebody wants to be famous. First of all, how can you put an order of protection on anybody without any demand, without any violence and without having a child with the one? Well, that's how it is in New York State. I don't know how it is in Tennessee. But in New York State, you have to have a child or there has to be some type of physical violence going on in order to get a child uh, order of protection. Which they don't have a child and there was no physical violence going on or else his ass would be in jail. So... How did she get an order of protection? You can't do it on their own. With all the other shit that I got going on, music, making these albums, trying to keep up with the internet and make videos and shoot music videos, I've been getting dragged in and out of court to just show up and then no one else fucking be there. So essentially, I've had somebody who sucks at everything they do on the internet trying to defame me. Defamed to the point where I am on Nashville News, Fox 17, and I got some diaper neck lady saying that I'm, I'm not allowed to be friends with the Lord. Oh, shout out, happy birthday, bro. Happy belated birthday. I see the balloons in the back and shit like that. Local police saying I'm not allowed to give them one of my gold records to say thank you for protecting our town. So I can be in contact when we do stuff like shop with a cop for misfortunate kids or do something for Thanksgiving for people that Eat it. can't afford Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know, maybe talk about the local kids and see, I mean, anything that involves community. Try to take that away from me. Don't believe me? Watch this fucking clip. Imagine taking the steps to get protected from someone and then seeing law enforcement posting pictures with that person on the very same day. That, 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 
just right there just pissed me off. Imagine taking steps to get protection from someone like like he was like re 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 like what? Did y'all read the text messages? Did y'all see what was going on in the motherfucking thread? Did y'all see that? He need protection from her. What? But if a man got to order protection against a woman, we don't have any balls, right? That they were served an order of protection. That's what one woman says happened to her and what victim advocates say really needs to change. A Tennessee musician is now showing his love for his hometown by giving something special to the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office. When we first brought you this story, it was a positive one. Local Cheatham County musician Ryan Upchurch giving his first gold record to the Cheatham County Sheriff's Department. However, now... And, and they about to turn this into a smear fest. I can already tell. This is bo this Me Too fucking era, this canceling era, this shit is just bogus as hell. Fox 17 is investigating after finding out the same day he gifted his award is the same day he was served with an ex parte order of protection in Cheatham County. I know about a month ago, um, you guys received an award. And she uh, looked like her too. She looked just like that, you know. Uh, uh, one of Ryan Upchurch's awards. And I'm calling to see if you guys were aware that on that same day, he was served with an ex parte order of protection in Cheatham County. I called the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office after learning this and after seeing another post this past Friday from the Sheriff's Department that shows Upchurch inviting them up on stage. His victim is a little bit, you know, thrown off, seeing a lot of social media posts, that kind of thing, not really feeling protected. We also went to- so What does she do at home? Like, like Google Upchurch's name, like follow him all around, like, <laughs> I'm going to ruin his uh, illustrious career. <laughs> like, what? Like, don't she got her own shit going on? Huh? Don't you got your own stuff going on, the, the lady? Huh? Why you got to worry about this man? Huh? It's over. L-V-E-R. You couldn't ride the clout train, all right? So now you must go. He's got a wifey. He's doing his thing. Mind your fucking life. Go about, go about your, go about your business. Go about your business, girl. Go on, go on, get. God damn, you gotta get talked to like a goddamn. To the sheriff's office. The sheriff is out of town, but a spokesperson for the department said he'd call him tonight to get information, find out what they knew about the order. Verna Wyatt with Tennessee Voices for Victims. Yeah, AKA oh ugly ass fucking diaper neck. Says even if oh. they didn't know about it, there needs to be some correct. Oh. Yo, she got a fucking gobbler. What is that shit called with the... Oh, my God. She got the whole nutsack on the bottom. She has a full-blown adult nutsack on her neck. Wow. She's a bald chinian. She's a bald chinian. <laughs> She's a bald chinian from the Men in Black. <laughs> He's a bald chinian. Oh, he's a, oh my God. They should immediately take those posts down. Yeah, every country singer in fucking Nashville is cool with the police and stuff and do all this good stuff, and y'all cover it, but no, 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 when I do it, 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 no, it's not allowed. Shut the fuck up, diaper neck. And apologize to the victim, because it's totally insensitive, inappropriate, and what it, it sends a message regardless to the victim that... Her perpetrator is in league with the people that are supposed to protect her. Oh, tighten that shit up. At least do like what the little Asian girls do with this, with this right here. They get a piece of tape and they pull it right here and they tape it. They even put makeup over it so they can make their face look like that. Like, just, just pull, pull the gobbler, pull the gobbler to the side so you can make you can flatten out the Balchinian. Good fucking God. You know it's bullshit. Everybody knows it's bullshit. I mean, Jesus, dude. You got Candace Owens, the future president of the fucking United States, over here taking up for me because it's such bullshit. What you're talking about is a lie. You know it's not a lie? Your ugly ass face and your big flappy diaper neck. It's wrong. Since the ex parte order was served, they've had. Hey, yo, yo, 
Church is the fucking king at roasting. That motherfucker will roast. He ro <laughs> Yo, he's a fucking fire roaster. Had a hearing with a judge who sided with the victim and granted the full order. Now she's just hoping she gets the full protection. It's totally intimidating. <laughs> and we, we're living. This is a close up of her gobbler. <laughs> Ball chin is. In a state where we're in the top 10 for where men kill women. Then look, then they add a fact on there that has nothing to fucking do with me. Oh, and by the way, in Tennessee, men do kill women. I don't have a record, you dumbass. I don't have a record. So you just gonna blow it up like this and at the very end be like, oh, and by the way, we're top 10 for men who kill women. I've never killed nobody, what the fuck? Right. I don't even have a violent charge, dude. Right. Cause I mind my own fucking business. Right. And you know what, Fox 17? I don't know why y'all haven't hit me up to ask me anything. Don't you think that's kind of weird? Fox 17, you ain't been buzzing none of our phones. So you just gonna trash me and then and then when it's thrown out the window and y'all look like big fucking idiots, then, then what? Then it just never happened? No. Right, he should, just, just how quick y'all publicly smeared this man. Y'all need to give him apology that fast. Until y'all call me, y'all are big fucking idiots and you know you are and you look stupid as fuck right now. I mean, I guess it really don't matter anyways. Y'all are just a tiny, small fucking news channel. There's like 50 other ones around here. I mean, I got Candace Owens taking up for me. Think I give a fuck what Fox 17 says? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Y'all ain't that important. Oh, and for anyone out there that don't believe that either, well, here's the clip of Candace taking up for me. Thank you, Candace. So, woke up this morning and somebody had sent me a link to an article um, about Ryan Upchurch. Hey, boo -boo. And it hey, had boo, said that boo. had. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. That's my boo boo right there. Hey, boo boo. Um, wanted him to pull down a video on YouTube. And so she went to a domestic violence clinic in Tennessee. And she, f to get them to help, help her guide to get him to take down this video that he put on social media. I'll walk you through that situation and tell you why I want to use my platform to defend him. First and foremost, I have never spoken to You know you fucked up when you have Candace Owens defending the other person. Like, because she, her shit, she, you, y'all can say what y'all want to say about Candace, all right? Just don't let me hear the shit, but y'all can say what y'all want to say about Candace, all right? When she speaks about something, her shit is right to the point, direct. She has all her facts in a row. Everything is too legit to quit. You feel me? So if she's jumping behind up church, defending up church, y'all, y'all in for some shit. Ryan Upchurch in my life. So this is, there was no collusion on the back end. He did not hit me up. Be like, hey, could you help me out? Like nothing. This is just me using my platform to defend men when they have a right to be defended, period. Yes. Um, so I saw this thing and I went, whoa, this is crazy. Like you went to a domestic violence clinic, said you were scared and got people at that clinic to help you go to a judge and file an emergency injunct 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 injunctive relief. I think I said that right. Um, which is essentially when the judge can slap down something and say like, until we decide what's right or what's wrong, you have to do this. Which is why I haven't been able to say shit about this. And that something that she wanted done was for Ryan Upchurch to take down a video. Now, I'm going to tell you the background of that video because I actually saw the video. And the fact that she did this to me is like, this is crazy. This is literally crazy. Like, it's just like, how can you do this to somebody? And for what reason? So, you know, the feud, the background of the feud is essentially, and from what I saw, obviously I was following her at the time. Nicole did a video, she, again, she did the video first, uploaded a video onto Instagram and was just like, I want to get ahead of this situation and tell you guys what's going on. And That's how you know a motherfucker lying right there. You can tell, I knew for a fact her ass was kappa, kappa, cap, kappa, 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 she was kappa, 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 I knew her ass was kappa, as soon as she did that, I want to get ahead of everything, oh my god. Up church is just over. He's overdoing it. He's so mad. 
I did nothing. I just look at is his wallet right here. His wallet is right here with no money in it, by the way. Like, who the fuck carries money on him anyways? Why would you even throw it? You know what? I'm going on a rant. My bad, y'all. And then said, like, he's, he's using it for publicity because he has an album coming out. So if you're a girl or a guy watching it, you're just like, man, what a horrible person Ryan up church is, right? That was my thinking, right? I love you. Right. Then... Ryan Upchurch uploads a video and this is obviously to defend himself because after that a bunch of fans or non-fans went and started harassing him being like you're such a crappy person you suck you need to apologize for what you did like you suck Ryan you suck you're horrible um and so obviously if you're a guy and all these people are uh, saying like you did this horrible thing you're going to defend yourself so then he did a YouTube video which I also saw from start to finish and he just dropped facts like i mean he literally said i'm gonna take you through exactly what happened and, and showing a judge that you should you're like yo like the judge should be like all right slap slap the odor protection on uh miss arbor over there miss arbor over there the 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 the, 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 the psycho chick slap the order protection on her she can't come within 65 miles of up church all right but nah because us men get fucked in court all the time no matter if you black white purple fucking alien you seen them aliens that was they found on radar or that warship there's 19 of them motherfuckers and they dove in the water even if they was in court they get fucked and when i say brought receipts he just played the entire text chain between her and him there's no denying it. you're reading it he literally puts dropped the text messages so you could read what happened <laughs> but hey that's what I'm known for, bringing the receipts. And this individual, fucking bitch, has done this to a lot of other motherfuckers, but guess what? She might not have Googled me before she'd done it to me. First off, you have to just only want to be famous to be defamed. You're not gonna defame me. I don't give a fuck. I just care about writing music and doing what I'm supposed to for my supporters. And this individual has made it where I can't, I, I haven't been able to do that for the past few months due to all this fucking bullshit getting dragged in and out of court for them not to be there to reschedule to go back again for them to not be there to reschedule to go back again. Nah, it's just, I ain't doing all that. Fuck that. It's annoying as fuck is what it is. So yeah, if you're wondering what's been going on with me, that is what's been going on with me. I've been getting dragged all over the place by a fucking bimbo who wishes she was American and wishes she was famous, just wanting to be famous, dragging me through the news and dragging me in the court. You don't even know, bro. You don't even know. Hell, I might even get in trouble for this video. I just, I don't give a fuck now. Because, dude, I can't just sit here and be trampled. I don't even know if I should even, uh react to this if he ain't supposed to have it up I'll, I'll keep mine up as long as he keeps his up on the whole damn time and have to cancel these shows and and seem like i'm doing this bad business because i don't know when i'm gonna have to go to court i don't know if that's gonna be the date that i actually gotta go do i gotta go again because somebody rescheduled it's like they're trying to do this on purpose because they're mad about what I have created and they- They trying to fuck his flow up. They trying to have that man miss dates and shit like that. They trying to fuck your flow up, bro. That's what they doing. That's what they doing, man. Just how your lawyer handle that shit, man. Obviously, you know that already because you probably got a lawyer that, you know, you know, a paid lawyer. Not Stefan. <laughs> I wish they fucking had something like that and they don't have something like we have. That's the fucking truth. So, with that being said, any business that I've done over the past two months, if I had to cancel a show or something, listen, man, if you don't want to fuck with me no more, that's cool. Do your thing. If you do, if you are a promoter and you want to fuck with me after all this shit is over with, you'll be first on the list for the shows. This is just something that I, is out of my control. Okay. I have to abide by the legal system. I have to show up to this place. I, I have to do these things. But, and, and, and there's nothing I can do about it. I, I wish I could, but I just can't. There's just, there's just some shitty, fucking, low-down, grimy, diaper-neck people in the world. So, yeah. And to the ones who've been checking on me, 
since all this has been going on, I know I haven't been able to answer you because I don't know what I could and what I couldn't say. I didn't know if I was going to say something and then be fucking picked up by the police or some shit like that. So, to the ones who got my back, thank you, dude. Creek Squad got your back, bro. All three million and some change. I really appreciate y'all. And, uh, yeah, I just want to tell y'all what's been going on. There it is, which a lot of y'all already knew that, but if you didn't know, now you know, crack up. All right, well, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to go do something productive and go uh, slap on this big booty. It's taking a shower in my bathroom right <laughs> I'll see y'all on the flip side, baby. All right. Brace Hill and call me! got the spirit still in him, man. He ain't, he ain't defeated, man. It takes a lot to defeat that brother, man. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you ain't already down with the gang gang. I sound like Simba right now. <laughs> but still do it, goddammit.